Okay, just to give you an idea of what this road is like before Top Seal, this is uh, our coin test. As you can see, it's very powdery, very loose, and very dusty. Now we'll show you what it's like after Top Seal. On day one, we evaluated the road and determined that a simple topical application would be the most efficient method for improving the roads of the Pascalama project. This is based on the fact that the soil is already well compacted but would not require any deep stabilization. This process involves simply using a grader to scrape the surface of the road in order to remove any washboarding, tire ruts, loose rocks, or loose soil. This will also give us a smooth surface to work with and a very smooth road when the primary application is completed. On the first day, we applied the product at a 1 to 15 dilution rate. This higher rate of dilution will ensure that the material will saturate the surface of the road and not dry before it has time to penetrate the road. In normal situations, we would apply the material during the heavy traffic times of the haul road. This will improve the overall results by utilizing the heavy haul trucks to deliver the needed compaction. Being that we are without the haul truck traffic on this section of the road, we elected to utilize a steel drum roller to simulate the haul truck traffic. This did a fine job, yet nothing is as good at pushing the loose material into the road as a haul truck is. After allowing the first application to substantially dry, we finished the day with another two passes and continued to apply our simulated haul traffic. At the end of the first day, we had applied approximately 0.3 liters of material into each square meter. During this process, it was also determined that further dilution of the material would most likely be advantageous under the given conditions of low humidity, high winds, and clear skies. Day 2. Upon returning to the site on the second day, we found that the surface had already begun to harden very well and that the majority of the rocks and loose material had also been pushed into the now solidified surface. The loose material that was left on the surface was simply due to the fact that the steel drum roller was unable to compact into some of the low spots on the road. These loose materials will be bound to the now solidified road during the subsequent passes on day two. As the first day's application was directed at deep penetration for upper road stability, the second day is directed at sealing off the newly hardened surface. These passes go much faster and use much less material due to the fact that the road has become somewhat impermeable after day one. As day two continues, the road becomes much less permeable and the surface of the road becomes extremely hard. By the third day, we had exceeded our objective of simply controlling the dust. The road is now hard as a rock. Not only has it become dust free, but it has also taken on a hardness that will stop all future erosion and washboarding due to heavy traffic and excessive watering. In our final evaluation, we can conclude that the implementation of our whole road topsail process would help the Pascalama project in several areas. First, by lowering the consumption of water used for dust control by over 90%. Second, by lowering the associated water operating cost by over 90% as well. Third, by lowering the cost of road maintenance due to washboarding by over 80%. This is two days. After applying top seal, this is what the application does to the same road. This is now hard as a rock. No more washboarding, no more dust, no more erosion. And it will stay like this with proper maintenance forever.